My name is Trenton Zhang. I am a natural science illustrator and fine artist. So in my art practice, I find that uh, careful observation really plays a huge part in what I do as a science illustrator. So um, spending a long time, I spend like even more time looking at the object than I do drawing. So my favorite subject to paint is in general nature, um, but specifically I really enjoy painting like fish and aquatic life, uh, reptiles and insects. So they're usually subjects that people kind of ignore, but I like to really spotlight them in my artwork. So I'd say my artistic style is fairly realistic. Um, I like to have a lot of minute details in the actual subject, um, especially when I do like, like more science-based work. So one of my most uh, uh, favorite pieces recently is a um, 32 by 22 rainbow trap painting that I painted for a fisherman from Idaho. I did some environmental designs where I looked at the native rivers where he caught it from just to see what the under under the water looks like. I got some actual river rocks and was positioned them to get some interesting lighting and shapes. And so I drew those onto my paper and then I actually bought a uh, trout from the, the market and had them like on ice on my desk. I was drawing, like drawing them and painting it from life. I documented different environments where I observed, um, where I went to school in Baltimore, how um, animals interacted with our human environment. Um, so one of my favorite ones is an alleyway with like a bunch of trash bags at night, and I drew like a bunch of rats and mice and cockroaches eating the trash. In the, in the background, there's a cat stalking some of the mice, and then far back, there's a trash truck ready to pick up the trash. So just showing how there's different environments uh, like like ecosystems within like the human environment even like you may not notice it every day but there's environment underneath us and the grass and the trash can uh, one of my favorite projects i did was a collaboration between the water lab at the university of riverside in california and there i worked with their bumblebee division where i created a bunch of illustrations that looked at the life cycle and uh, a nest of a bumblebee. So I started off that project um, working with one of the grad students and we were brainstorming how we wanted to communicate all the different aspects of their research to the public. So she started off by sending me uh, actual bee specimens in the mail. Um, had a, a couple of bumblebee queens, some workers, some larvae, and a little alcohol vials, and then I did a lot of like studies and sketches from them uh, to help give me an uh, idea of what the nest looked like. They sent me a lot of videos of the nest. So based off that, I created a little clay model, which I constructed out of a uh, plasticine clay. So I used that model to help me um, position the bees. Um, I did it uh, life size, so the bees would be accurate to scale. So I use that, I pin the bees onto the clay model and then use different lighting situations to see how I wanted to light the, the painting. And then after that, I use the model as my basis to do the finished illustrations. So as a teacher, I really enjoy building my students' confidence in their own skills. Um, work with them by starting off by building their observational skills and drawing, and then kind of moving on to more technical skills, like showing them how to do stuff in perspective and using different lines and angles to really capture the accuracy of their work. 